my first Suwannee River bass. Didn't get on film because I haven't got a bite. And it's my first one. I think they're lowering the uh, minimum to 10 inches. I don't, even think, I don't even think this even. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll keep. 10 and a half. So that's one scoreable bass right there. <laughs> this is what we're gonna have to catch to stay in the tournament. So be it. Golly. What's up guys, we're out here on the Swanee River pre-fishing for the tournament for next weekend. And as you saw there, I only caught one fish so far. It's 9, 10 right now. I got out here around seven. So been fishing for quite a bit and that's my first fish I had. I had one other bite, but I'm not even sure if it was a bass. So I don't know. We're just gonna try to figure this thing out and hope for the best, kind of wing it, I guess, for the weekend. But at least I kind of have an idea what to do, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But uh, yeah, caught him on this little lizard here. I'm just trying a bunch of different things, see what works best. And I let that one sit and I was looking around, listening to the sturgeon jump. Kind of worried that one's gonna jump in my boat. <laughs> it probably won't happen, but can you imagine? The river right now is moving quick. It's got some pretty good current going through here. So what I'm doing is looking for <coughs> current breaks. But we got a pretty big area to fish. We got from Gronto Springs all the way down to Usher Boat Ramp, which that's a big section of the river to try to pre-fish. I forgot to mention that I only have one camera today because I forgot my mount for the other camera for the back. So I'm gonna be switching back and forth with this camera. I'm just gonna continue upstream, keep going upstream and work this trolling motor out. <laughs> this current is pretty quick. I mean, it's pushing pretty good. So I'm just gonna work upstream. If my battery dies, it's fine because I'll just float on back down to the ramp, which ain't, ain't no problem. So we're gonna continue forward and see what else we can get. God, dude. I ripped this guy out of the water. Little, little guy. Oh, I thought I had one. There's a stick. Got a stick fish. Man, the bite is tough. I missed one other bite off camera. I saw him. He was a little guy, just like the last two. But that's, I feel like that's all we got in here right now. That's all I can find anyways. From watching all the bass boats going by me, they're coming from the south, so I'm wondering if I should go to the most southern end of our cutoff and work my way up against the current like I'm doing now and just fish. And then when I'm done, just come back with the current to back to the ramp. It's my only thing I can think of. Oh man. I had a decent one on. I was going towards it and it was going towards me. Spit the hook. It's probably the best one of the day too. I'll move this camera back. Pretty sure you're tired of seeing my face. That way you can see all the fish jump off my my line. Oh my god, that was a fish too! I keep thinking I get hung up and then it ends up being a fish. Or I think it's a fish and I end up getting hung up. It actually felt really good on my feet. There we go, there we go. Oh God. Freaking trees. You can't, you can't. Dang it. There's parts of this river where the current just rips through here and you can't, if you're fishing with the current, you can't stop. If you get hung up, boy, you're in for a ride. And then there's parts of the river where it's kind of slack like this, or it makes it a little easier to fish. But I feel like the fish bite and more of the current stuff, which is hard to fish with the current. I don't know. 
This is probably one of the most challenging rivers I've ever fished. Come on, I want my spinnerbait back. I hear thunder in the background. I'm tired of this current. I'm tired of these boats going by. Ah. Kidding me, man. 